Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me slash Mexican tag. I was tagged by Wendy's World. If you guys wanna go ahead and check her out, she also did a tag on this. And then she tagged me and she's like, girl, you look Mexican enough to do this tag. I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so let's get ready and let's go ahead and answer some questions. Some non-existent questions. Okay, I know that. Uh, con que voy a empezar primero? Let's start with some primer. Let's start with something different than we usually do. Just so you guys can see like a variety of things. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start off with our eyebrows. And we're going to do the cejas orgánicas. Like, um, these cejas orgánicas are so cute. But like, también duras. Duras para hacértelas. Y necesitan, you guys need like a little spoolie brush. Y'all need a little brush like this, okay? This one already has obviously soap on it. And then y'all need some water. My water bottle is almost out. So we're going to go ahead and spray some water. And actually I should use the other side. But anyways. We're going to get some soap. And we're going to go ahead and brush out these brows. And then the first question is. Did you ever get your butt whooped with a chancla? In case you guys don't know what a chancla is. A chancla is like a sandal. Alright. Let me do my eyebrow. And then y'all going to know whether I got my ass whooped with a chancla or not. Uh, I don't think I got my, I don't think I got hit with a chancla. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get hit with a chancla. Um, I did get hit. I did get slapped in the face when I snuck out with, by my mom. And I mean, obviously I deserve that. But um, there's a story on that. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below in the description. That's when I snuck out. Uh, my mom slapped me in the face. Cause she's like, what the hell? I mean, what would you expect? I mean, I don't know if I would have slapped my child. <laughs> But she slapped me. Um, my dad, once upon a time, when I was like in third grade, he was like working on the dog's house outside, like, you know, like the little houses. And he asked for my help to hold the damn tools. So I was holding the tool. Look at my eyebrows. They look so silly already. Um, so I was holding the tools and it was kind of cold. I think it was like around October or November. And I was like already over it. I was like, uh, so I was like, dad, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to use the restroom and I'll be right back. And he's like, okay. So I go inside and of course, like a typical child, I stay inside and I start playing, you know? And then my dad, <laughs> my dad comes back inside after like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And then he's like, what the hell? I told you to go help me outside. So anyways, as we're walking outside, because we lived in this mobile home at the time, as we're walking outside, he like, like, he, like, like I'm gonna, I have to show you guys. Like, he, like, sidekicked me. <laughs> he sidekicked me out the door. And I remember it was, oh, shoot, I moved the whole place. Um, I remember he sidekicked me out, out the door. And, I mean, like, I didn't fall or nothing. And it wasn't even that hard. But, like, to me, it was kind of hard. And I remember that. So, yeah, that's when he hit me. And for some reason in my head, I remember, I feel like he, like, Hit me once upon a time when I didn't know my ABCs, which is, like, super traumatizing. Of course, I would remember that. And that was, like, in kindergarten. So, I don't know how he hit me. But my brain is, like, he hit you in kindergarten. <laughs> but anyways, other than that, I don't think they ever hit me. I don't know if it was because I was the youngest or because I was a good child. But usually, the ones that got the ass whooping were my siblings. Like, my sisters that were older than me. They got their ass whooped. So, anyways. Let's brush this out a little bit. So yeah, um, specifically with a chancla, no. But if it's fair, I've seen children get whooped with a chancla. Just saying. I even tell my kids, I'm gonna hit you with a chancla if you don't stop. And they like, they're like, you're gonna hit me with a chancla, and like, dude, I never hit you with a chancla. So stop the crying. All right, so after we're done with these brows, it's because this brow right here doesn't want to stay. There's this girl on here. I think her name is Grace. She has like a YouTube and she uses this product for her eyebrows to look like this. And I don't know, I don't even remember what it's called. I think it's like Remy or something like that. But anyways, I want to try it so bad and it's like kind of pricey for what it is. But it's sold out and it's been sold out for like who freaking knows how long. And I'm like, oh, I need that. Like it does this in seconds. Anyways, that's what I need in my life. So yeah, just in case you guys are like, oh, can I see this? That. That's what I need. Okay, um, we're gonna use some concealer. We're gonna go in with our CoverGirl concealer. Vaya ese para allá. O lo voy a pegar con la chancla. 
Ooh, you went right away. <laughs> Just joking. Um, so I'm gonna use the CoverGirl color la, 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 Golden Neutral. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that right here and I'm gonna use a little flat brush. So if you guys hear my children in the background, well, my child and my nephew, so. FYI. All right, let's see here. We're gonna clean the bottom and then the top. Um, did you have to translate as a child? Oh Lord, oh Lord, let me cut this out first. Y'all can already tell what the answer to that one is. All right. Mm -hmm. so much better, right? Okay. Did you ever have to translate as a child? Um, yes, I did have to translate as a child. Actually, what grade was this in? I think it was like in fourth or fifth grade. Let me just finish this, I promise. Because this is going to be hard. Imagine I'm doing someone's makeup and they're talking as I'm doing their eyebrows and like all I really want them to do is just to be quiet. Like, please don't move. Are you done talking? Because <laughs> it's going to take forever if you're not done talking. Alright, hold on here. You have to translate as a child. Yes, around 4th or 5th grade, I think I had, um, my dad had this accident at work. So he was in disability and story of that disability, he got, he got basically ran over by a cow like yeah, by a cow, by a big old cow against like the metal. Anyways, he's okay now. But he was in disability for a while and he had to go see his lawyer all the time, which was a little bit out of town. And he used to take us to go translate. Take us to go translate. Anyways, there was a point where he would get mad because I was like, I don't know how to say that. And he would be like, why do you go to school if you don't know how to say that? And I'm like, dude, I'm in fourth grade. How in the world am I supposed to know what logistics means? <laughs> I'm just joking. You know what I mean? Like, how do I translate? Um, me fregué la, la nuca. Like, I don't freaking know. But anyways, so I had to translate. And then apparently my translating wasn't good enough. And I was like, dude, of course my trans... Ciérrale, porque me da vergüenza. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Estoy hablando sola. Acá haciendo mi video. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, me dio, okay. Anyways, so apparently my, translate, my translating wasn't even good enough for my dad. But I'm like, dude... Like, I'm a freaking elementary schooler. Like, my words that I'm learning right now are probably how to make a sentence. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was so sad. Let me go ahead and cut this out. Patient for the top. And we're going to cut these out. So, another medias gruesas. That's the whole point about these. That they just make your brows look fuller. Okay, anyways, we're going to go in with our Anastasia Little Powder. You could probably use like a eyeshadow or whatever to do this or an actual powder for eyebrows. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one just because I haven't used it. So let's go ahead and use it. We're just going to go ahead and fill it in. And we're going to fast forward this so you guys can like, you know, tune in and not leave. You keep your pants in the oven. Do I keep my pants in the oven? <laughs> I mean, what I do probably counts as putting my leaving my pants in the oven so i don't leave my pants in the oven as in like their storage area but i do put my pants in the oven when like i'm done cooking and they're super hot and i don't want to leave them on top of the stove top so i put them in the oven so they can cool down and then i could just wash them afterwards or also the comal does stay under there but all the other pants go in their storage area but i mean i guess i qualify under leaving them under there so or maybe I'm just trying to be as Mexican as I can with these questions because it's like, did you hit here with the chunk line? No. Did you do you put your pants in the uh, in the oven? No, not Mexican at all. <laughs> all right. Anyways, this base, which is the Dewy Luminous Wet and Wild, I feel like this one adds a lot of like you know kind of like the little glow that you want on your face. We're gonna try some of the Sephora and some of this Revlon Photo Ready Shoot. They're both not my color, but we're gonna mix them. One of them is kind of like watery, dewy, and then the other one is like, hello, Matt. Mix them. Y yo pues ahí me la tanteo, you know, like, how light am I, how dark am I? And I'm just going to mix it with the bottom of a brush. Mix, 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 mix. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Y ya está. Arre. All right, hold on, guys. Let me do this. What's the next question? <sighs> 
Okay, the next question is, did your mom ever use the phrase, el día que me muera? El día que me muera, ¿quién te va a ayudar a lavar los trastes? El día que me muera, este que el otro. No, I don't think my mom uses that. I've heard it before, but she doesn't use that because she basically, she's like the type of person. <laughs> she doesn't use that. She's like the type of person that will be like, el día que me muera, ay no, que ni Dios quiera. <laughs> Basically, she doesn't like to talk about her own death. <laughs> so, no. She she won't say, El día que me muera. Or, oh, has she? I'm trying to think. El día que me muera. No. I don't think she has used that phrase. El día que me muera. ¿Quién te va a hacer tamales for Christmas, my friend? El día que me muera. ¿Quién? Stop! What are you doing? Are you gonna come in or are you gonna get out? I'm gonna try to do. Well then stop peeking because you're making little sounds and you're making me look over there. We're gonna go in with the concealer. We're gonna go, you know, just watch where we're gonna go. We're gonna use this powder for like our face. But the more I do these questions, the more I realize that like, so como que 10% Because it's like, tu mamá nunca te dijo el día que me muera, o sea, cero mexicana. No pones tus pants in the oven, cero mexicana. <laughs> like, oh my God, so sad. All right, next question. Do you ever put your beans in a butter container? Uh, usually, if I make beans, I make enough for like that day. But if I do, if I had a butter container, I would put them in there. But basically, it's just any Tupperware. But back at home, because my mom says bien mexicana, she would put them in like in a butter container or wherever container was there, you know? I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like Hispanics, or I don't know, I don't know if like all Hispanics or just Mexicans, I feel like we're very recyclable. Like, like the trash bags, like the Walmart bags, like we don't we throw those away. We put them on the drawer under the oven and we use those for like bags for trash, for the little trash cans, like the restroom trash cans. And then like, for example, the butter container, that's like recycling the butter container and using it as a Tupperware, you know? So it's like, so for that question, no, I do not put my beans in a butter container. <laughs> if I had a butter container, but I mean, I have Tupperwares for that, but like if I didn't, I'd probably use a butter container. Cero Mexicana, otra vez, oh my God. For our bronzer. Did your parents let you date? Um. My dad, I think if it was for my dad, we would never date. He would just be like, no, no one's ever dating nobody. My mom, I feel like she was more at ease when I was like in high school. She obviously knew that, you know, like you're going to have a boyfriend. She obviously knew that. So she was basically very like, don't have a boyfriend. But like, if you do tell me, you know, so like, I don't know. She would try to be like, very like. Um, como que, like, ten tu noviecito, but innocent, you know, like, have, like, in an innocent relationship with your boyfriend. Don't, like, have a boyfriend. Have a boy you like, but don't have a boyfriend, basically. I think, I feel like she was pretty cool. I, I used to talk to her about boys, sometimes, sometimes. I would talk to her about boys, so, like, I mean, I feel like I was comfortable enough to talk to my mom about it. And then my dad, like, like oh, no. Oh no. oh no. Like, no, don't even tell him because he's gonna, like. I don't know, murder somebody. Somebody's kid. He's gonna murder somebody's kid. Like, oh no. But then eventually, um, yeah, when I got pregnant, I got pregnant at the age of 18, FYI. So when I got pregnant, and this was like, I got pregnant like right after graduating high school, which is bad. Bad, bad, bad. But, anyways, right when I graduated. But, anyways. So I remember telling my boyfriend, like, dude, you're going to have to go talk to my dad because if you don't, you're a little PIS, you know, you're you're a little wimp. You don't want to be a little wimp because you're already entering this familia wrong. So don't be a wimp. You have to go tell him. You're pregnant by me. It was so scary. But anyways, I was like, you have to. Like, you have to go up there and be a man. And he did. But that's the thing about my boyfriend. Like, I don't think he was very scared of, like, anybody. So he was just like, okay. And I was scared for him. I was like, dude, you don't want to go talk to my dad. <laughs> Me telling him to be brave, but like in the same time, like not really meaning it, you know? Like, mm. but yeah. 
we talked to my dad and i think by then my dad already knew that i was pregnant but he was just waiting for somebody to say something about it or i don't know because he was just like why is this guy in our thanksgiving dinner that's when he told him thanksgiving dinner he's probably like why are you inviting a boyfriend a boy that Tracy is not supposed to have a boyfriend revlon palette look at all these beautiful blushes all right we're gonna go a little like um what's that you say um how do you call them um like the eat girl or i don't know we're gonna go like a little bit too much everywhere i'm gonna use like this area right here so there's that now we're gonna go ahead and spray it with this little bare mineral setting mist so this is like a little like um to go sort of like the little samples almost but we're gonna spray it from far away because this thing is like go to mexico on december for christmas uh no i don't <laughs> i swear why is it all my answers no like no soy mexicana que soy americana or what the hell am i like no entiendo soy soy de mexico soy no palera okay anyways uh no we don't go to mexico actually we haven't gone to mexico in a long time uh we used to go to mexico when my sister lived there which was like almost like six like probably like six probably like six years ago or five years ago or i don't even know how many years ago it's been a while but my sister used to live over there so we used to go in the summer um during summer vacation we would go to mexico every year and it was so fun some of the best memories there and um I don't know it was like super fun we used to go there and it was just so beautiful and it was just like a relief and like a breath of fresh air literally and once she came over here we haven't gone to mexico and after that anyways like after that i graduated high school i had a child and obviously i didn't get a free trip to mexico anymore <laughs> but anyways my mom didn't go to mexico either so like we basically didn't go after that after my sister came over here literally like she came she came with when my when my first son was like three months and he's like gonna be eight so it's been a long time so yeah um and then look at all these little mist let me tap this down a little bit i guess we don't really have a big purpose to go other than like if you're gonna go on vacation but back then we used to go we used to stay at her house and it was just so fun so no not in december but in july like june july and it was kind of fresh around that time i don't know why but it was fresh around that time what type of spanish music do you listen to um i like to listen to everything like oh my god okay like i like to listen to banda because it's just like you know and then i do like to listen to corridos because corridos is a type of music that basically i mean basically every song has a story but like corridos are like hardcore stories within the song and like it's not much of a, like it's like a like this type of dance <laughs> but it's i love corridos like i don't know why it's just like i just love their stories back in the day when my dad and my brother used to listen to corridos um back in the day when they used to listen to corridos i remember there was this one corrido that i really liked all right anyways there was a corrido that i really liked and it was about this semi driver and he this, this is what the song says it was like a semi driver and he was just like he was just driving and then he saw a girl on the road and then he asked her like hey do you need a ride and she said yes she needed a ride so then she got on the semi and they were talking he was going to take her to her pueblo basically her little town where she lived and he's like hey where do you live and she told him where she lived and he was taking her there and they were conversating and then he dropped her off right he could dropped her off and then I think he came back, back to visit the girl that he dropped off. And then he was looking for her, but he couldn't find her. And then he asked people around, like, hey, do you guys know this girl? Like, uh, she lives in this house right here. Do you know, like, how I can find her? Because obviously she's not there. And then they're like, that girl died a couple years ago in a car wreck up in that curve up there. Basically where he picked her up. That's where she had died and she never made it home but there's a myth that she tries to get a ride from people back home that she tries to get a ride back home but obviously like she makes it back home but she obviously doesn't because she died so that was just a sad story and that's one of my favorite corridos i don't even know what it is but i remember like every time i remember being like a little kid probably like fifth grader or whatever and like listening to that corrido and i was just like so sad 
But yeah, that's a corrido, for example, for you. So you guys know what a corrido is. Basically, a song that has stories. And then I like reggaeton. <laughs> what do I like about reggaeton? I used to like, I used to like, Rakimi Kenwai, Wisini Yandel. Anyways, a lot of people that you guys probably don't know. But there's that. And let me finish doing my pestañas, okay? Obviously didn't put any pestañas. I just basically put some mascara. That will be all for this tag, this Mexican tag. Um, I think this was super fun. And I've come to realize that I don't need in what's it called um ancestry to realize that i'm um 10 percent mexican <laughs> i'm just joking but like a lot of these answers were no and that's like so sad but i can relate to them oh my god 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 oh my but anyways guys um if you guys go ahead and try this tag out let me know i would love to see your tag and that'll be super fun. I feel like I could tag some people, but I don't know if they would see this video. And if they did see this video, I don't want them to feel pressured to do it. I mean, I didn't feel pressured to do it. I actually enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, this will be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my Mexican tag video. Let me know down below if you guys can relate to any of these questions. If you guys are more Mexican than me, did you guys get more rights or wrongs? And did you guys get more than me even though you guys are not Mexican? That'll be like mind blown. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys do your own. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so then you get notified when I post next. And see you guys on the next one. God bless you guys. Que Diosito me los bendiga. Adios.